I'm Jamie Wardley from Sand in Your Eye and I'm helping to make an ultimate castle with English heritage and I'm also here to give you some top tips. Tip number one, with dry sand you can't make anything, the sand has to be wet and then you can make beautiful things. Tip number two, to make a castle you need to have a strong foundation, so for that we're going to build a volcano. Ta-da! When you've got your volcano, then what you need to do is just get a bucket of water and pour the water into it. And because you've made this nice little rim, the, the water's not going to go down the sides. And then all we do is use your fingers to press in it like you're playing the piano. Ba, 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 ba. And when you're doing that, it actually makes the sand go really, really hard. And it will go so hard that you can now build your castle on top of it. Tip number three is to use your hands to compact and carve the sand. Get one hand nice and still and then bring the sand up and then pat it against the other hand and that way the sand's going to go nice and hard. <laughs> Tip number four is to use a ruler and a knife to do the cutting and the details on your sand sculpture. But make sure they're made of wood. So now we've got our mot and we've got our bailey with our keep on the top. We've even got a little village, but we've got no walls to defend it. So tip number five is to make walls. You push the sand together and pinch down with your thumb. And then just take the sand and give it a little finger tap, just like that. And when it stops being like jelly, then you stop tapping and you'll start to make these towers. Oh, it's so nice and gooey, look at that. So here we have our sand castle and it's got its walls, but it's got nothing to hide behind for the soldiers to protect themselves. So tip number seven is to make crenellations. For this, you're gonna need a wooden float and plenty of muddy sand. So get your muddy sand and put it onto your wooden float and give it a little finger tap again to vibrate the sand. And then if it's too muddy, just add a little bit of dry sand and keep going until it basically turns into a hard piece of sand. You'll then take your ruler and you'll make a little bit of a chocolate bar. When you've got your chocolate bar, you need to cut it up into little blocks. And then gently take them over and put them onto your towers. Okay, so we have our castle, um, we have our moat, but we have no way of getting out. So tip number eight is to make a drawbridge. So what you do is you just make your hand nice and big like this and have it raised a little bit and then just pat the sand over it. Like so. And then I'm just going to take my hand down and make it smaller and hopefully I'll be able to take my hand out and there'll be a little top left there. And then you can use your ruler just to cut the bridge. And those are our tips for making a lovely sandcastle.